holy moly this sounds pretty cool so you're supposed to be able to apply this over your already done makeup that day it's like your morning cup of coffee your 3 p.m piece of chocolate and your post workout glow all rolled into one okay guys so i'm going to give you my final thoughts on both of these brand new hourglass products Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I have another product review product review for you. Today we're going to be reviewing two new brand new products from Hourglass Cosmetics. They are from the Veil line and one of them is the Retouching Fluid. The other is the Translucent Setting Powder. So if you want to see how these products work, how they look on the skin, how they wear, keep on watching. Today's subscriber shout out goes to Jade Sl I'm not even going to try to pronounce your last name, S-L-A-U-G-H. Thank you so much for commenting on my recent video. I really, really appreciate your support. If you want a subscriber shout out, don't forget to comment in the comment section below. Definitely hit the notification bell and I would love to show you some appreciation. Okay guys, so as per usual, let's check in and see what it is that this product claims. We're going to start off with the Veil. I really, really like Hourglass Cosmetics. I'm a big fan of their brand, but they are very, very pricey. So, of course, we want what they say to show in the product. We want, we want the claims to be founded. And basically, this is another translucent powder. It is formulated with light reflecting particles to blur imperfections. Packaged in an innovative, innovative sifter designed to dispense the perfect amount of product. So this is supposed to blur the appearance of pores, fine lines, and wrinkles for an airbrushed finish. So I'm going to apply the powder. So right now on my face I have um, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and just a little bit of concealer. And we're going to see how this powder works. Okay, so I'm using my It Cosmetics heavenly skin brush now there's some in the little well here of the powder but i actually they say that this is kind of an innovative packaging but i actually find it a little bit challenging to use um, but i have a little bit on my brush here and i'm just going to begin to press it into the skin I mean, it's definitely sitting kind of lightly on the skin, which is nice. It's not feeling overly heavy or cakey. And I'm just concentrating it in the center of my face and then working it outward. Yeah, I mean, pretty good. It's definitely translucent. There's no color that's coming off of it. It is doing a nice job smoothing out the skin. I'm not like blown away by it. My world is not shattered with joy yet, but I mean, it's okay. It's definitely settling in a little bit on, um, to my fine lines under my eyes, which you guys will see when I zoom in. But I mean, yeah, it's pretty good. So I'm gonna do the other side with a slightly damp beauty blender. So how I'm getting the powder out is I'm just closing it and then like trying to get a little bit on the lid, or I mean in the well. And then that's kind of what you get. Let's see. Focus. So that's kind of probably the easiest way I found to get powder out. All right, so I'm going to take a lot on the Beauty Blender and just start pressing it. So what do you guys think? I mean, when I'm looking in the viewfinder, I definitely see a very smooth complexion, a very, very mattified complexion, which is nice. It's not sitting super heavy on the skin. It's not really caking up. It definitely is settling a little bit into my fine lines, but that is pretty typical for me for any loose powder. They pretty much all do that. Okay, so this is what we have. Let me zoom you guys in so you can see how it sets on the skin.
Okay, so I don't see anything outwardly wrong with this powder by any means. Um, so this is a very, very, very nice translucent powder. I love how it's just smoothing everything out, making you look super airbrushed. It's not sitting on the skin or making me look cakey. Um, is it like the most life-changing product I've ever used? No, probably not. So the next one we're gonna do, we're gonna, we're gonna try, is this little retouching fluid. So this is another brand new product and I picked this up because I was really curious. I've never had a product that I can apply over my skin that's already done and powdered that's a liquid without it looking super weird. So you're supposed to be able to apply this over your already done makeup. That means you're all powdered, bronzered, everything like that. You're supposed to be able to apply this over top all those products and it's supposed to look really, really good. So I tend to think this is like really gimmicky. Like, do you really need this? Um, $34 product. Um, I don't know. We're going to find out. I'm not one to retouch my makeup throughout the day. It's just the nature of my job doesn't really lend itself to that. But if you are somebody that likes to retouch, if you work at like a makeup salon or a hair salon or, you know, you want to keep your appearance up throughout the day, maybe this could be a really cool thing for you. There are one, two, three, four, five, there are six colors. So it is somewhat pigmented, meaning like it has some pigment behind it. It's not just like a clear brightening fluid. But it's supposed to basically, let's see, it's a complexion enhancer. Weightless oil, fl oil free fluid adds just the right amount of brightness, coverage, and hydration to your skin during the day. It's like your morning cup of coffee, your 3 p.m. piece of chocolate, and your post workout glow all rolled into one. So it's supposed to cancel out dullness, illuminate darkness, and retouch fading makeup without caking or creasing. Holy moly! This sounds pretty cool. So I got the color vanilla and I was watching a little video the owner of or I, don't, I think she's the owner of Hourglass how she did it. She put it like all under her eyes like this. It's definitely a thinner um, consistency <clears throat> and maybe I'll do a little bit just to brighten up the center of my forehead bring some life to my skin. Why do I feel like I'm so bright right now? Maybe a little bit down here. Cupid's bow, bridge of the nose. Let's see if this really brings so much life back to the skin. So I'm gonna take my finger. I will say it definitely brought some life to my skin. It definitely, you can see that it illuminated the center of my face there, which is really nice. Um, I'm not, it actually looks really good on top of my powdered makeup everywhere except under my eyes. I don't really love how it looks under my eyes and I will zoom you guys in so you can see. Aside from that, I'm actually kind of impressed because I thought this was gonna be sort of a dud and kind of like, I, I do, I'll be honest, I really do think it's highly, highly, highly unnecessary, but that's just my personal opinion. Um, especially for $34, like, ugh, is it really worth it? I don't know. But yeah, it looks good everywhere on the skin except for under my eyes, so let me show you that real quick. So as you can see, it's just kind of caking up on the outside a little bit. Settling okay on the nose okay on the forehead and okay on the chin and fine on the upper lip. So it's just really that under eye area that I'm not a fan of and honestly that's probably where I would be most apt to use it. I mean if if I used it anywhere else on my face I'd probably just use like a little bit of a highlighter. Okay guys, so I'm gonna give you my final thoughts on both of these brand new Hourglass products. Um, you know, I love Hourglass. I'm a huge fan of the brand, but I am a little bit underwhelmed. I'm just, they're not bad products by any means. Um, I just don't find them to be like revolutionary in my makeup routine. The translucent powder is good. It's nice, it smooths the skin. It's not overly cakey. Um, is it life-changing? 
I don't know. I don't. I don't really personally think so. Um, and then the retouching fluid is better than I thought it was going to be. But the place I would be most apt to use it would be under my eyes throughout the day. And I didn't love. I just don't love how it made my makeup settle under there when I put this on top of my already powdered under eyes. I just feel like it made things separate a little bit and it might look better from afar, but up close I don't want to look like a huge cake face. So I, I don't know, I can't really endorse this fully. It's not a bad product by any means. It feels good on the skin. It brightens my complexion. Um, it definitely brings life to my face, which is really, really nice, but it's just not something that I feel like it's something I feel like I can live without. Like if I returned it, I don't think I would miss it. Do you know what I mean? Um, all right guys, so that completes my video. I really hope you liked it. If you like my review, my review videos, don't forget to give it a thumbs up um, and subscribe to my channel, of course. Comment down below as always. And don't forget to check out my community tab. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.